Well, I thought I was coming from the beginning. I thought I was just coming down with a cold. And that's what I, I just thought, because usually when I have a cold, it just moves right in, you know, it takes over my, settles in my bronchial tubes. And uh, so I was expecting that, and usually what I grab is Zycam, and I take that during two tablets, and the morning it was gone. And then it still wasn't back to normal, the way I thought. And did I, did I have a slight temperature, a slight One temperature, day. and Jackie thought, no, I better take you to the to the doctor. We better go check and see for sure. And he put the slabs up my nose. And then we had to wait to send it to Hawaii then. And we had to wait. We didn't get it till Tuesday. And then they called and they said I was positive. And I was expecting always congestion. They keep talking about congestion in the lungs and the chest. And I, it just never got real congested. Just one day that I felt a little bit tight. It's positive. I mean, I could have dropped the phone because I, I so did not see that coming. He had prescribed for her an antibiotic because one of her lungs looked a little bit iffy on some uh, congestion setting in. And so she started taking that. And then when they called and said, you know, it's positive, I, I, we were just all so surprised. A week before, I was only two places because I usually don't go out much at all. And that's why I really thought I was pretty safe. I go to the ladies' Bible study on the Thursday, and every Friday I go to have my hair done to shampoo, and she sets it. Something's come into our lives that I didn't want, I'm, and it was maybe fearful about. And of course, our children were saying, Mom, if Grandma gets the virus, Mom, if Grandma gets the virus, it's not going to be good for her. You know, we could not have her. And, you know, you're aware of all of that. And yet, what can you do? You know, you do your best and know God does the rest. And so it's ultimately in his hands. Our health always is every moment of every day. So all of a sudden that comes home to you and your mind just starts going, okay, what does this mean for all of us? And especially what does this mean for her? So it was sort of in a way scary, but I felt so good having Jackie with me. And then we had access that you call from the health office. You know, that really meant a lot too that we knew if I did really something happen quickly, we had somebody to, to get in touch with. So really appreciated the, the girls in the health office that were calling and trying to be of help if we needed it. But really there was never a fear of ourselves and it was just trying to care for her, knowing that this could really be a difficult thing at 92 years of age to fight this strong of a virus. And so that's just what we did. We. Uh, we really started going through. And I'll tell you, one of the biggest blessings was that we didn't have to send her anywhere else to isolate. And at first we got that message. And when I heard that she was gonna have to leave and go somewhere else, and we wouldn't even be able to visit, I thought, oh no, you know, that, that in itself, if anything, will be her downfall right there. Because she's so used to being with us and we're used to being with her and caring for her. And without even a visit, I knew that would be so hard. And we prayed that night, God, you know, you're in control of all of these details surrounding this whole situation. You've allowed it. You have a plan for it. And so you show us. What are your general thoughts on how public health supported you and your family? They were very, super supportive right from the get-go. We started getting calls. Um, we started hearing their concern. And... Um, they wanted to know whatever they could do to help us. That was really a blessing to us. Um, although we have some people around us that were willing to go to the grocery store and bring it to our door and drop it off or whatever, they were asking if they could do that. Can we get anything for you? And they checked in. She got, my mom got two calls every day, morning and afternoon, to see how she was doing. The rest of us each got our own phone call to see how we were doing always reassuring us what to do in case we had any symptoms, what to do if my mom's system, symptoms grew worse. And so we always were in the know, and we were always very supported by a group of people who were there for us at just a phone call away. Now we saw Nurse Kim earlier, so how has public health been in terms of your support to you? Oh, I'd say very good. They're very good, very helpful just giving you a good feeling of knowing well 
they, they, they know more than we do in the event that I did feel I really ran into some problem. But so it was just, just a support that they were that meant a lot. And uh, really, we, we appreciated it. And uh, if Jackie had any problems or something, because this was the first adventure of us for us, and I, even, I didn't hear of anybody else going through it, so we could go to somebody else that had experienced it, you know. And it, it was new, and it was an unchartered journey. <laughs>